Hello and welcome to Flash Animation Chapter 8, Lesson 3, Creating a Movie Clip Symbol. Now, this I did once and it totally broke down. And I did it again and it worked perfectly fine. And I went ahead and saved it, so I wanted to show you what it's going to supposed to look like. So that way if it totally and utterly breaks down again, you at least have the example of kind of what you're trying to go for. So, if you look here, I have the tree left over from last lesson. I also have the other smaller version of the tree left over from the last lesson. And I have this dragonfly thing. Okay, And what I'm doing with this dragonfly, I'm going to go ahead and play the movie itself so you kind of see what's going on. Um, and I have to do it in Flash Professional because of the fact that... Um, it doesn't actually play otherwise. Now, you'll note that the wings are supposed to be flapping. They're supposed to be animated as flapping. And the last time I did this before I saved it, and before I started doing this, the wings were actually animated and flapping. What they look like, if I pull up my animated dragonfly, it looks like this. And if I, you can't see it, but those wings actually flap. And if I look at my animated left wings, let me pull that bad boy up right there. What happens is they change size to give the illusion of flapping. And it worked perfectly fine before, and of course now it doesn't. doesn't matter. Okay, at this point in time, there's a level of commitment here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and build it, and we're going to try to create an animated movie to use. So, when I'm in here, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save it as dragonfly.fla, uh, uh, top of page flash 818, and we're going to change our animation uh, frames per second to 10. Otherwise, it looks like your uh, dragonfly has a jet engine on it, and it's going to destroy the other uh, tree. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the animated left wings clip movie, right? So I bring up my animated left wings quick clip movie, and what it looks like when it plays essentially is this. So it looks like, right, and it goes really slow, and then it looks like it's flapping, and then it plays over and over again. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my scene one, and I'm going to insert and I'm going to do new symbol, so I'm going to create an animated right wing movie clip. Animated right wing, and this is going to be a movie clip, and then I'm going to push OK. Now that gets me to my library file, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the right wing graphics symbol, the right wing's graphic symbol, and I'm going to drag that out, I'm going to put it right here. Now there's some different steps that you have to go through when you're changing the X and the Y coordinates and you want to make sure of this. The very first thing is I'm going to change the coordinates based off the property. So I have to make sure I'm clicked on frame one, I have to make sure I've clicked my dragonfly wings, and I want to make sure I'm in the properties of the graphic for the wings. If you don't do that, it doesn't have all the elements there. I want to change the X and Y coordinates to zero, and there's my Y coordinate to zero. So now I've changed it to zero, zero, and now I've anchored that in a particular location. Now I want to go on and I'm check, um, flash 819, number nine, first slide, right, or first uh, uh, keyframe right there, and I want to insert, and I want to do motion tween. So there's my motion tween. Then notice it's 10 lot, it's 10 keyframes. I want to click on frame five. There's my frame five, and then I want to click the wings. Now when I click the wings, and you'll notice my properties change over here. When I'm clicked here, this is what they look like. When I click here, I want to make sure my properties of the wings are up. It says use the properties panel to set the following values: width 47 and height 57, and to make sure that this link is broken. Now the reason for that is they scale together if you don't and it loses the effect of scaling together. So what happens is it's still the same height but now I change the width so it looks since it's on a tween it looks like it moves up. Then I want to click on frame 10 so here's my frame 10 and I want to click on the wings again making sure I'm changing the properties of the wings and then my width I want it to be 84 because now I'm actually laying the wing back down and it looks like the wings are actually moving, you know, fluttering as we go back and forth. Now from here, 
play my animation. Oh, it looks like it does. It says click scene one on the top left of the workspace. So I've created what I needed to. Now I want to click on scene one. Now I'm back to scene one. I want to do insert on the mini bar, then click new symbol, insert, new symbol, and then I want to click animated dragonfly, animated D fly. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I've created this new symbol. I'm going to go into my library. I'm going to grab my dragonfly body graphic. So here's my dragonfly body, and I'm going to drag the, basically, he's a bug, and I'm going to put him out there. Then I'm going to grab my, grab my animated left wings graphic, and I'm going to move that bad boy out and I'm going to move it where it connects in some way, shape, or form here. And then I'm going to use my animated right wing graphic, and I'm going to move it over here. And I'm going to place it where it kind of, you know, slots in there. So, hey, look, I have a dragonfly. It says, <clears throat> now once I've done that, I want to click on scene one up here, and I'm changing my page, and I want to, on flash 8-20, 8, 8, 8 when I'm working at scene one, I want to insert a new layer above the trees and name it Dragonfly. So I want to insert um, Timeline Layer, and I want to make sure this is above the trees, and I want to call this Dragonfly. Dragonfly, right? So once I have the Dragonfly layer, it says click Frame 1, so I do. And, and then drag the animated Dragonfly movie clip. So here's the animated Dragonfly movie clip that I just created combining the two wings and the body. And I move this bad boy out here. Now, what happens if I test the move? Like right now, nothing will happen because the Dragonfly animation is part of a movie. I should be able to control test movie in Flash Professional and notice they move. Now, that is exactly how mine looked last time except when I actually made it where it flew, it did it again, and then when I saved it, it didn't actually work, which is fine. As long as you have all the elements there, I'm good to go. And now I want to, once I have this selected, my Dragonfly, I want to click Modify and Scale and Rotate. So I want to Modify, Transform, Scale and Rotate. I've done my Scale and Rotate. I want to type 100, and I want to type 180 for the rotation value. Basically, I'm turning it upside down. And I want to display the properties panel on frame one. And then I want to click my dragonfly. So here's my properties panel on frame one. And then I want to click my dragonfly. Oh, nope, oh, my dragonfly. There we go. And verify the lock is unbroken, right? So I put this back together. And my width will be 49. Now, the reason I linked my width is because my width and my height will scale together. So when I make the width 49, it makes a really tiny dragonfly. Now what I want to do, there we go, is I want to click on frame one right here of my dragonfly, and I want to insert, and I want to do a motion tween. And then I want to move said dragonfly all the way over here. Who knew that you cared this much about bugs? And um, I'm a bad person because I actually, I'm going to undo that move. Now I'm going to move it over here. I made that one fundamental error there. So now I have my motion tween. Um, motion tween, click frame 10, moved it over, and now I want to take my selection pointer right there, and I want to drag my path downwards. So there's my path I've dragged downwards. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my subsection tool here, and remember we were doing with this before, where I can turn on, let's see, the... Bezer handles. I don't know where Bezer handles. I don't know where they come up with the names. But if I come along here after I have these selected, I could then, when it turns into that delta, grab it, move it up here, so I get that kind of S wave effect. All right. Click frame one in the Dragonfly layer, then click uh, path in the properties. So I want to click frame one, and I should get the orient to path. Uh, right there, so my dragonfly will now orient to the path, orient to the path that it's taking. Then what I want to do is I want to click my free transform tool, and remember a free transform tool should be here, and rotate it to align the front of the dragonfly to the path. So I want to hit the dragonfly, and I want to come along, and I want to make him orient to the path. I want to click frame 10, oh, dragonfly, then resize the dragonfly to width 22, and resize the dragonfly to 
Hmm. Interesting. So let's try that again. Edit, undo scale. There we go. All right, I'm just going to leave my dragonfly where he is because things are kind of weird here. 3D position and view. Oh, maybe I resized the wrong one. Let's try 22 here. I think I did it down here. Let's see. There we go. Perfect. So he's like super tiny when he gets to the other side. Um, it says drag the tween span on the dragonfly layer to frame 30. So here's my the dragonfly layer to 30. And then insert keyframes in frame 30 of the other layers. So I want to go here and I want to insert timeline keyframe. And I want to go here, insert timeline keyframe. So I'm basically extending it out so I have it longer. Alright, so what I'm going to now do is notice when I do this, it's my dragonfly and he floods all and he gets really tiny. Alright, so now I want to come along and I want to do control, test movie in Flash Professional. And I want to see, see, his little wings, well, okay, I can, yep, his little wings are flying. Wow, outstanding. It all worked for when I did my uh, actual uh, recording. I'm very happy right now. So, luckily, that is exactly what was supposed to happen, and I'm, I'm pleased. Um, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate your uh, work and effort, and we are now going to event we're going to move into lesson four, animated buttons using movie clip symbols. Thank you very much for your time. This concludes uh, lesson three for chapter eight. And if you have any questions, it always let me know.